Coach Frieda Freeman Jackson to the right of her is Contoria Offer, and on the left is Taylor Harrington. Coach, if you will open it up with time, we'll take questions. Yes, uh, this game, coming into this game, we split with uh, Prairie View early in the year. We just played them about 10 uh, days ago. So it wasn't uh, anything new to us when we had you. But I thought we started the game out okay. And on the defensive end, we was a little sluggish or what have you. And uh, things didn't go our way at the uh, beginning of the game. But I thought we fought back, got back in the game, tied it at 47. Then we had another uh, breakdown. But uh, these ladies, they really played hard, did everything they can do as players to try to uh, keep the game close and try to win it at the end. All right, questions? Coach, you know, what would you say led to the breakdown? You just mentioned that it was a breakdown. Well, we can hit girls to get in early foul trouble. So you're talking about two of your starters that didn't get an opportunity to play for probably five or six minutes the entire first uh, half. So it threw us out of sync. And so uh, we had uh, some subs to come in. I thought they did some good things, but at the same time, anytime time your starters out, and you're talking about defensive player of the year, she's sitting on the bench majority of the game. So they posed us a lot of problems because she's the backbone, you know, of our defense. So I know with, with the season ending, uh, and it's a, a bitter thing right now, but what do you see as a positive to build on for the future for Alabama State basketball? Well, these young ladies right here, uh, Quatora Offer to my right and Taylor Arrington, um, they've displayed a lot of class throughout my program. Both of these ladies have played for me for four years. They grade in the books. I have not had any discipline problems uh, out of them. They're going to graduate. So them being true leaders, that's going to lead the girls in the right direction. I am so um, uh, sad for them because they were not able to uh, finish their career the way I wanted them to. Coach, you had to like the way you hit the offensive rebounds. You had, you know, had 28 offensive rebounds. Yes, we needed to put some of them offensive rebounds uh, back in the basket, score some of them. But uh, they worked hard. They did everything they were able to do to try to, be, uh, to win a ball game, but we fell short. Coach, during the game at Prairie View a couple of weeks ago, you guys were kind of mounted a rally toward the end. Um, coming into the final stretch, you know, and you guys were down, how were you able to, uh, what did you tell them to try and get them back in the game like you did at Buckley Prairie? Well, actually in the game at uh, Prairie View, we led pretty much the entire ball game. Uh, right. I well, we played, there were some uh, times where you kind of went back and forth. Yes, we did. At the end yeah. of the uh, mm -hmm. game, we went mm -hmm. back and forth. Mm -hmm. It was a tight ball game mm -hmm. the last two or three minutes. Yes, right. I, had a heart, and, uh, I almost had a heart attack watching that game. Yes, but what they did, uh, they just kept uh, playing hard and uh, things went our way you know, down there when we played them. So how would you, would you do anything different this time? Well, at the end of the ball game, we had our horse in the game. So that makes a difference anytime you can have a 6'3 a uh, center in the game and being able to, uh, you know, she's a senior and opposed to having a sophomore, which is Jasmine People, trying to get her to do the things that we want uh, Quatora offer to do. So it was just a little different ball game. And then also Nakia Smith, which is another senior, she scored the ball. She had. Um, 23 or 21 points that game, or 25. So she really did a good job of scoring the ball. We didn't get that out of her. So when you're talking about your leading score, I think she ended up with, what, five points? If I'm not um, misinterpreting that. But uh, it's going to be tough for somebody to feel that void, and we was not able to do that. Now, my question is for both of the seniors. As you get ready to reflect on your uh, playing in this conference and as a student athlete, um, as an old man now, you appreciate it now, but what do you see as reflection on uh, on your careers right now? Nothing is easy. Everything is, you gotta work hard for it. You think everything's something you had to do, but it's not. You gotta work hard to get anything you want. Same lyric, same. And she said, you gotta get what you want. Nothing is easy. You just gotta pray and get it. Work. Any more questions? 